begin tonight with the state's prison system and the fight on contraband. The Justice Department is highlighting a report that shows promising results of cell phone jamming tests in prisons. However, federal law still prevents the jamming of cell phones. And today, state correction leaders spoke about the need for the technology. News 19's Lauren Thomas joins us with more. Prisoners across this country need to jam cell phone signals. South Carolina Department of Corrections Director Brian Sterling once again spoke out about the need for cell phone jamming, this time during a contraband press conference on Friday. We need to jam, not today, but yesterday. Federal law currently prohibits the jamming of cell phones at prisons, but there are efforts by the Department of Justice to change that. On Wednesday, a report was released by the National Telecommunications and Information Administration highlighting the tests done at Broad River Correctional Facility in Columbia. The report says the results are promising, showing that cell phone signals inside of a housing unit were blocked, but legitimate calls could be made one foot outside of the housing unit perimeter. And we proved legally that this can be, can be done, and it can be done effectively and safely and very cost efficiently. He hopes that Congress will see these results and make changes to the law. The concern is that people living near prisons could be affected when it comes to emergency calls. But Attorney General Alan Wilson says not having the jamming technology is putting lives at risk. You're dead wrong and you need to get over it and you need to allow this to go forward and so we can jam the cell phone signals coming out of prisons and going into prisons so we can better protect not only the employees of the prisons but the lives around that prison system. They're dead wrong, period. In Columbia, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX.